Mad Cow Studios presents the talk show that doesn't suck. Now for your host, Wesley Frampton. is in for a big surprise with this one. I know. It's going to be a good episode. I know. Especially on that paranormal investigation we did earlier. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it? That was very interesting. We got some creepy stuff. We, uh, the team and I, we, uh, we re researched a bit and went over the results and we found some evidence of, uh, possible, uh, paranormal activity going on. So, see. It'll be, it's pretty fun. Wait, I got something in my eye. Okay. Hey, Wes, you're on set. Huh? Wes. What? You're, you're on. Oh, crap, no. I promise it'll never happen again. Oh, well. Okay. So, our first guest couldn't be here right now, so let's bring us to our next guest, the Phantom. Nice uh, to have you here. Nice to be in here. Welcome to our Halloween episode of Tasha Doesn't Suck. You ever see us on YouTube? No. Oh, you should. Get some right. Yeah. So, heard you from Wild the Hills. That true? Yes. I don't work there. I just haunt the place. Let's see. I just scare the workers. That's pretty cool. You, scare, you ever meet someone named John McDonald down there? Yes. You see, he's got a very sexy. <laughs> I see. If I was gay, that's who I'd go with. Do you even have a gender? I'd like to think of a man. I see. But technically, no. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. You need a shoulder to cry on? Hey, Wes. No. I know the cameraman doesn't have very much of a, you know, of a respected part, but get the, okay, I don't know I'm a new, but I just made this, uh, this is it. This is it. Um, if you don't know what gender you are, or, I mean, you could, I can kind of consider you to be more of a, a mantum. You know, like a phantom, or a mantum. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> oh, gee! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. <laughs> yes. yes. I will kill him in his sleep. Good. So, have you ever met any of the workers there, such as Chris Eltman or Caleb Budispa? Yes, uh, Chris, he tries to go as my buddy, which, you know, it works out pretty good. My buddy's a headless man. He's supposed to be here first. Yeah. Yes. You know he's gonna get here tonight or not? Uh, yes, he will be here. And all awaiting the arrival of the headless man. Yes. I actually chopped off his head. You're your friend. We didn't know each other first. See, so you got to know each other after you chopped his head off. Yes. Yes. Well, I think that concludes your interview, and uh, don't consider me your friend. Ever. Good. You will die in seven days. <laughs> why seven days? Let's just again. Why seven days? It's a week. It's I like told you why. <laughs> Six days. Oh. Speaking of paranormal activity, we have a very special guest with us today. Yes, we do. Please welcome our first guest. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait. What? Do you hear that? Hear what? I hear something. I don't hear anything. Are you sure? Because I hear something. I don't hear a thing. It's probably just me. I know. Go ahead. Sorry. It's, it's fine. fine. It's, it's cool. It happens. I, I get what Sorry. you mean. Go ahead. All right. So, like I said, our first guest. Are you sure you don't hear anything? I am positive I don't hear anything, Caleb. Jeez. I swear I hear something. I declare shenanigans, all right? Seriously. All right. Shenanigans is brought about. So, like I said, our first guest, all the way from Haunted Hills, I give to you... Wait. Uh, 
I, I swear I hear something. I don't hear anything. What? What? There is nothing to hear. It's just you and me. I know that this place was said to be haunted, but you and Boone both know there are no such thing as ghosts. Okay? You gotta understand that? I declare shenanigans. Whatever. I hear something, and I I, I know it's here. I, I hear something. I, I don't hear a thing. Fine. Okay. Fine. Just here we keep go. going. Just keep going. With let's this. do this. I will ignore Can the we do this this time? Yes, let's just do okay. it. Okay. No distractions. All the way from Haunted Hills, I bring to you our first guest on our Halloween special, the Headless Ma Ooh. 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 Oh, hey, I remember you. Ghost! Caleb, Caleb, no, 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 Caleb, 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 you're a very level investigator, you're better than this. Okay. He was, uh, he was from all you were ghosties. Oh, I'm he so, was, I know who you are now. Yeah. I, I, I investigated you. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wesley Frampton. Some of you know me from the talk show doesn't suck. I'm the host, of course. See, I'm here to remind you to not do drugs. If you're anything like me and lead the straight edge lifestyle, you already know not to do drugs. See, Freddy didn't know not to do drugs. This is Freddy. Freddy did a lot of drugs. Freddy lost his head. Don't lose your head. Don't do drugs. You'll get caught and you'll probably do some stupid stuff you're gonna regret. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Just give us a sign. <sighs> Do you hear that? Did you hear that? That is one big pile of sh <laughs> Sounded like a bullfrog. Yeah. Probably nothing. <laughs> Fairly alarmed here. I think, it's I think it's clear to say now that that one of the apparitions or the spirits that are living in they had some sort of history. It was like a dark figure. What was that? What was that? There's some serious crap going on right here. Some apparitions. <laughs> Talk show. No, we didn't. I was in the back of the pancake. We couldn't have eaten. No, we we, we just did like a whole half an hour of just talk show. Dude, we, it's, it's the Halloween theme one. You're, you remember? You're supposed to be here for that. Like seriously, it's supposed to be that one. I know. We just did the talk show. We I we did the paranormal investigation and everything. I wasn't there for that. I was. I wasn't here. I'm Wesley Frampton, talk show, the host of the talk show doesn't suck. I'd like to tell you that that blood packet was the most vile thing I've ever tasted in my life and never do it. You know that old medicine they give you to cure the plague? That's exactly what that crap tastes like. Yeah, don't do it. 
Until then, have a happy Halloween.